oh, 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 oh. Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. Burton. And I'm also Dr. Burton. And today is June 19, 2017. Yep. And it's our anniversary. anniversary. Seven Ooh. years, baby. Seven up. So, <laughs> yeah, what are we talking about today? Um, nothing serious because it's our anniversary. Right. Uh, obviously, we watch YouTube videos, not loads, but we do watch them from time to time. And there are always lots of interracial tags. Exactly. So we're clearly not in an interracial relationship, mm -hmm. but we are in an international relationship. Yes. <laughs> Play on the word international. Not really, not really spoken on. International hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm from Canada. And I'm from the UK. And so as we've been married seven years today, we just thought we would talk about um, some of the quirks and peculiarities of being in a relationship with, in my case, a British man. In my case, a Canadian girl. Right, so I'll do my top seven things of being married to David, who's British. First thing is I would say you are the least emotionally labile person I have ever met. David Happy. David sad. David angry. David excited. <laughs> That's David. Well, number one, my wife is emotionally expressive. There's no time that you cannot tell what she's thinking. She wears her thoughts on her face. Color happy, <laughs> color sad. She's, she just gives it away. She can't <laughs> hold those cards close to her chest. I couldn't play poker. Okay, my number two. Uh, this is a good one for you. I think everything, and it's a bit unfair though, everything you say sounds smarter and better because you say it with a British accent. It's true. And my number two is everything I say sounds smarter and better because I say it with a British accent. I gave you that one. Uh, moving on, number three. I rate you for your banter and sarcasm top notch. <laughs> It's like to have bants, it's the jokes. Why not? My number three. Uh, can I, Carla likes to have the occasional coffee. When I say occasional coffee, I mean lots of coffee. And this coffee, when we're in the UK, can be from anywhere. But when we're in Canada, it has to be Tim Hortons. Completely don't understand it. Don't drink anything else. Tim Hortons, number one. Uh, number four. Uh, so, I'm not sure if this is because you're British or you're from Yorkshire, but you definitely <laughs> like to have deals wow. and barter for absolutely everything. Why not? If something costs £50, you have to pay 40 for it. Exactly. It's just ridiculous. Fact, 40 is too Sometimes cheap. you just want to just buy something and just move on with your life. No, can't be done. Number four, Carla loves flasks. Now, <laughs> And I say flask, I'm talking about thermos flasks. And in these thermos flasks, it's not just for hot drinks. It can be for cold drinks. We've got countless flasks upstairs. Well, sometimes they disappear. Sometimes they're in a supermarket or in a mall. But yeah, Carla loves flasks. I'm sure it's a Canadian thing. Right. Uh, by number five is that you don't need any excuse to wear shorts. So if you're not familiar with the weather in the UK, it's generally not very hot. Usually, although today is an exception, and it's not really cold. But any reason, to, if there is one hot day, let it get up to like 21, 22 degrees, the shorts are on. Actually, even less than that. I've seen you wear shorts, attempt to wear shorts in November. Number five. My number five is that Carla is always comparing things to Canada, and she's very competitive in this element. So if it's cold here, it's not as cold as it is in Canada. It's always colder in Canada. It's always better as well. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, my number six about you is that you have the best non-aggressive insults. So since meeting David, I've learned a whole new vernacular of ways to insult people. <laughs> uh, so words like Muppet, taking the piss, and bollocks I knew nothing about. But because I'm married to you now, I, I know those words and I can use them in a sentence. Woo woo! I'm sure I don't, don't take the words. piss. <laughs> <laughs> so number six for this list is that when I first went to meet Carla, she lives in a city, she had a hunting rifle in the house. That's not normal. It's normal for us. <laughs> um, and my number seven, that's a good one for you babe, uh, I think you've got great style. I think, um, I don't know if it's because you're British or just because you've you got great style, you're a little bit of a risk taker, get a bit eccentric, I think got a little British thing going on so I really like that. And lastly, my number seven. Carla is fun, outgoing, it's great, and she's always up for a good time. Always. Oh, well, I'll go back to my number seven. 
I like the message on this shirt. I'm not doing anything for this job though. <laughs> and anyway, thanks for tuning in to our second episode of this couch. So like, what, what subscribe, do you want to do? share, and leave your comments down below. Okay. Thanks for listening to this couch. Peace.